Now, uh, in machine intelligence functions, um, we had to write an operating system. Now, not just any operating system. It's an operating system that supports uh, the uh, resources in a fashion that uh, and and um, uh, uh, monitors uh, and uh, um, allows the program to make requests. The pro the running high level code to make requests for specific functions uh, that uh, have to do with machine intelligence. So you couldn't use a CPM type program, uh, type of operating system. It has to be one that is designed specifically for uh, machine intelligence functions. And uh, it has to be a real-time operating system as well. Now, in the operating system mode, I have three levels of memory, uh, all the way from a, a thumb drive, which is the permanent storage. I don't actually uh, uh, execute out of that because the thumb drive is just far too slow. Um, and that is why we had to design our expanded RAM because that's where we're going to page most of our uh, functions in from. And uh, they will be brought into uh, propeller RAM. Uh, which is the uh, 496 locations of RAM that are in each propeller. It'll either be brought into there uh, for execution, or if it's spin code, it can be executed out of main RAM, of course. And um, uh, so those are the two types of RAM that are used in the real-time environment. And uh, uh, a flash drive uh, just doesn't have the speed. Uh, we do use it, however, for permanent storage, and therefore uh, uh, the things that the machine has learned uh, can be permanently stored on the flash drive, and uh, uh, that gives us the ability then at uh, any time we wish, boot up time or any other time, uh, to bring them out of the flash drive and into the ERAM. That's where we leave them resident. The 32K bytes of RAM that are part of the propeller chip itself um, are just insufficient for anything but the uh, basic skeleton of the um, operating system. Uh, none of the machine intelligence functions can be performed there uh, because, uh, again, it's just too small. And uh, um, so when I was choosing the uh, appropriate uh, platform to, uh, to port uh, my machine intelligence algorithms onto, um, uh, I had to consider that and the fact that the development of the propeller support software was in an early stage. And um, there wasn't even um, a standalone debugger or uh, 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 any other uh, uh, helpful tools uh, to be able to uh, develop uh, a uh, machine intelligence uh, type of protocol. And uh, that's about all I'm going to put on this clip because it, uh, it gets a little too uh, um, extended to download. So uh, I'll sign off on this one and I'll pick up on a second clip.